at the playground now and that was a very odd experience because we were heading for this fence like the walker ahead of me is and I couldn't see a gap in the thingy. Oh, how, do, how do the kids access the playground if there's no gap? But I see it's one of these clever systems for um, stopping bicycles and fast moving children getting in and running into the road. So there's a little gap just like there. And as I get to the road, there should be a path directly opposite the edge of the school. But again, like the gap in their fence here, I can't actually spot it. I can see some gaps between houses, but they're not wide enough. Ivy Chimneys Road. I can't see a footpath sign. But if I'm going to guess, it's going to be along opposite the school, rather than the other way. Cross the road while I get the chance, where there's no other traffic. Just simply because the path should appear on the right. And if it doesn't, ah, there it is. Just see it beyond the white house before the yellow house. That's a hidden byway. That's a lost byway, as the book says. Like, I think Epping wins the journey for obscure the journey Epping wins the award for obscure routes. Although there was a signpost, but uh, this was supposed to be the standard route from Epping Station, and it's anything but standard, especially that wooded section. That was a bit difficult. And with any luck, this will open out, and we'll be able to see a field going over to a footbridge although the height of the ground beyond suggests that might not be true glad you stayed with me this is a bit difficult underfoot okay so an open field and that pointing, right, we've got to keep the footpath in red on the map. I think we can do that. And I think that suggests, I think that uh, way over there by the pylon suggests that that's the way through. It's like a area where the plough hasn't been and some vehicle traffic has been. And I can certainly hear the M25 now. <laughs> 